Okay, so we're at the beginning. Uh, this Chromebook, I just restored it using a USB, that one right there. And now we're about to go. We wanna, we wanna do a factory reset. We wanna do, we wanna go into developer mode. So we're gonna do escape, refresh, power. All right. So now we're here. We're going to push Control D. Control D. All right. We're going to turn off OS verification. Now we're going to hit Control D again because we want to go to the de developer mode. Now we see the device owner has disabled developer mode. Blah 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 blah. So without this. We're not able to like really log in or use the device or, or customize it, okay? Because it's in enterprise registration, blah, 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 blah. So now it's going to reboot into in verified mode. So now it's returning to it return us to the normal verified mode. Now here's how we're going to like crack a lack it. So do this. We're in. Right, the welcome screen, right, or the splash screen. See, there's nothing down here, right? Nothing down there. We're gonna hit let's go. Now we gotta register for a Wi Fi. So we gotta connect to the Wi Fi, okay? We gotta connect to a Wi Fi. Now, after you're connected to the Wi Fi, you're gonna see this screen. It's gonna say blah, 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 blah. You don't have to unclick this, but I'm gonna unclick that. And then we're gonna accept and continue. Now, they're gonna say the checking for updates, which is fine. Now it says sign into your Chromebook, right? Um, don't do anything with this and don't hit that. We're going to hit more options. We're going to go to enterprise enrollment. Now here we're going to put in anything, right? Whatever. Anything I like at, uh, I don't know, bigdreams.com. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you put in there. Literally, put in anything, right? It says that can find your account. Do it one more time, and one more time. Now, here's where we're going to go back. Now, in this process, right now, it just blasted through the enterprise enrollment and it disenrolled it. All right. So now we're going to do the factory reset again. Escape, refresh, and power. Okay. Escape, refresh and power we held it down until the screen popped up now we're going to hit control D we're going to turn off OS verification now it's off, we're going to hit control D again now we're going to really better go into developer mode because bingo your system is transitioning to developer mode, local data has been cleared and we are good to go. We just blasted through. Enterprise enrollment is off. Oh, I should have said this in the beginning. Only do this with machines that are actually yours. Like in some cases, organizations or schools, they'll like toss all their Chromebooks and they'll forget to unenroll them, right? Because they're like, why should we take the time to do that? Nah. And they'll like donate it to the Goodwill or sell it or just leave it in the trash, whatever. So make sure that you, when you get it, it's legally yours. You don't try to like do this to someone else's because that's kind of illegal and yeah don't do that okay so um ba -da -ba -ba -ba. if you want to know how i got these these were a huge a gift like when i graduated uh developer friend was like hey you in the computers bro take all my old ancient stuff i'm like okay cool so now we're trying we're preparing for developer mode and when we get there, we're gonna knock out this BIOS, and we're gonna be able to, we're gonna set it so we can install whatever we want, like TI, whatever you like, yeah, man, shaba. So here we go. Give it a second. All right, pause verification is off. We're back to this screen. Push Control D again. And boom, 
We're at developer mode. Wow. So here, you're going to see is we have the enable debugging features. Fine and dandy, don't click this. You're going to go to the shell, okay? So in, to go to the shell in this one, you got to push Control, Alt, and F2. These are the F keys right up here. It doesn't show it, but these are the F keys, all right? This is F1. This is F2, F3, F4, blah, 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 blah. Dun, 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 all right? So we're going to hit Control, Alt, F2 right there. Now we're going to go to the shell. When you're in the shell, you're going to put in Kronos, right? They give you some basic instructions right here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Log in, sudo user Kronos. We're going to set a password, all right? Log in as Kronos. Then we got to go to super users. So you're going to put in sudo, S-U-D-O, space, S-U, space, dash. All right? Now I'm going to use what they told us here. Chrome OS dash set dev password. I'm going to set a password, okay? Chrome OS dash set dev p a s s w d. All right. Now we're going to choose something easy, simple. One, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four. Enter. We're gonna press it again. Don't worry if you don't see anything happening. That's one of the ways of protecting the password by not showing it or displaying it. One, two, three, four. It's a common thing when it comes to uh, CLI, command line interface. Now we're done with this, we're gonna hit exit. E-X-I-T, so we're gonna elevate back to the higher level, all right? Now we're gonna go from Mr. Chromebook's website, from Mr. Chromebox, this guy, right there. I already know this is compatible because I already checked the compatibility supported devices and I know this device is already compatible because I've done like a bunch of them already. We're going to put in this line here, this good stuff, alright? So we're going to type that in. So we're going to type in CD. Now because I already, I already took the right protection key out before I did this so it might mean we have to do something else. When you don't, when you do this first, then you take the right protection off. It tends to go more smoothly. Don't ask me why. Huh? Mr. Chromebox. Tech. Why? Forward slash. Firmware. Dash. YouTube. sh space ampersand ampersand dash oh I forgot sudo yeah can't forget sudo s u d o dash firmware dash YouTube. Sh. Now what's going to happen is this is going to wipe out the BIOS that's currently installed in the Chrome uh, Chromebook and it's going to give us the ability to do whatever we want with this. So here we go. What? Oh nuts, we didn't connect to the internet. Okay, so we're going to hit Control alt f one to go back. We have to reconnect to the internet. Because you're doing using curl. Curl is a curl is a internet pool command. So one second. Okay, so now we're connected to the internet. We're gonna go back in. Control Alt F2. Gonna push up. Brings us back here. Gonna push enter. And let the fun begin. And it's working. So now, oh, there you go. So now they're going to ask us some questions. Just go through this stuff. Make a backup of the firmware if you don't have your own backup. I already have a backup, so I don't need to do that. So we're going to hit number two, install. Yeah, I've been warned. Yes, wish to continue. Yes. Yes. No, I don't need to make a backup. Now it's downloading it and it's gonna flash it and then we're gonna be good to go. 
and we can install any other operating system we want on here. You've probably seen my other videos where I had Windows and uh, Kali Linux and so on and so forth. So yeah, there you go, Baba Joe. All right, we're done with that. Hit enter. We're gonna reboot. R for reboot. Now it's gonna restart. There's gonna be like a bunny on the screen. And then from there, you just do your process that you normally do when you're booting from a live USB or installing a new OS. By the way, Windows 11 does run on this. I was extremely shocked to see that it did, but it does. It's really cool. All right, and we're good to go. Now it's ready for another OS. Catch you later.